What's up? Brandon Lilly here. Uh, touching on a question today for the Facebook q and uh, I've been getting a ton of questions about it, some emails, uh, a lot of questions on Instagram. So I'm going to answer it. It's something that I've hesitated to answer um, simply because, you know, the relationship that I have with these two guys. But my answer is honest and it's fair. So um, I'm going to share what I feel about it. The question is, what do I feel about the Reebok Power Shoe? Uh, this shoe is designed by Mark Bell and Jesse Burdick uh, for Reebok. And this is kind of their first endeavor into a shoe that was designed specifically for um, powerlifting. And that's exactly what it is. And, you know, I was using the, um, the Adidas Powerlift, the heeled shoe. And, you know, I was very comfortable with that. And I liked it a lot. And when Mark asked me to try out the shoe, I was actually very hesitant. Um, and that goes that goes along with how I've always been. You know, Mark first sent me a pair of uh, slingshot wrist straps uh, maybe three years ago. One of the very very first pairs. I know Dave Hoff and I got a pair about the same time. And I was using a pair of of blue APT wraps, and I liked them. And Mark just kept asking me, you know, you know, try the try the slingshot wraps. Just try them. Just, you know, I want to know if you like them, if, if you think I can improve them, uh, things like that. So, you know, one day it just occurred that I had forgotten my wrist straps and uh, ended up using Mark's wrist straps, and I loved them. They allowed me to bench my first, uh, well, let's see, I benched 780 in them. I benched 800, 810, 815, 832. Uh, I benched all the way up to 573 in them raw. And then Mark came out with the gangster wrap. And he was hitting me up again. He said, man, you got to try the gangster app. You got to try the gangster app. And I was like, you know, I'm really comfortable with the, the black wraps. Well, similar situation. He sent them. I uh, had them in my gym bag, just kind of thrown in the bottom. And for whatever reason, um, we had some visitors at the gym and some guys ended up using my black wraps. And I ended up using the gangster apps and I was sold on them. You know, so that's kind of where my mindset was with Mark on these shoes um, I wasn't sure how much I would like them, and I'm very, very resistant to change. Um, I'm, I'm very much a creature of habit. And when Mark hit me up about the shoe, you know, it was like, you know, I got out of Chuck's because I was having problems squatting raw in them, and you're asking me to go back into that. So more or less out of um, obligation or feeling of an obligation to, you know, our friendship, I gave him a shot, and he was like, look, you don't have to love them. You don't even have to stick with them. Um, just give me your honest feedback about them. And what I noticed in the first time in using them, well, actually, I put them on at the house, and I just started walking around in them. First and foremost, chucks are not a what I would define as a comfortable shoe. They're not something that you're going to stand on your feet for eight hours, walk around in, and feel you know like you you did something good for your feet. These were very very comfortable. They're extremely, extremely light, and, um, you know, I really liked them. And, you know, the, the next things that I noticed was, you know, the Chuck was designed to, to be a basketball shoe when shoe technology was literally nothing. And, you know, you fast forward to what we're using it for. Um, it's been a good, dependable shoe that Chuck Taylor has for powerlifting, but never before has powerlifting had a dedicated shoe. I mean, you look at even the, the squatters or the, the heeled shoes, those are carryovers from weightlifting. So powerlifting's always kind of been this bastard child as far as uh, sports equipment, except for the squat gear and the bench shirt. Um, everything else has kind of cycled down from weightlifting. And in reality, um, what they did, I mean, if I was to redesign or to address the issues with the Chuck Taylor, um, Mark and Jesse and Reebok really went out of their way to uh, to address those things, you know. what? One of the coolest things that I noticed is the toe box. You know, it actually mimics the shape of the foot, and it's wider up there. You know, being a guy with a wider foot, I was always blowing my chucks out here and here in this area. Well, these, these shoes are actually reinforced there, but what you can't see and what you, I hope you can see in this video, see this little ridge? Whoops, right there. 
it says stability zone. Now, that's not necessarily going to come into play for me um, as a narrow or stance squatter, but so many guys that pull sumo and so many uh, guys that squat wide, instead of rolling out, like, you know, you'll see, sorry, my camera's backwards. Instead of actually rolling out on the side of the shoe like you would in a Chuck Taylor, this actually allows you to press, and it kind of just rolls on this lip and keeps you grounded. The other thing are the contact points along the bottom of the shoe. Um, you know, these things were designed to act as a suction cup to keep you grounded and to keep you driving through the floor as hard as possible. Um, it's not just a typical gum bottom shoe like Chuck Taylor's are. They're actually, every little part of the shoe is done with a purpose. This right here is reinforced around the ankle. It's very, very thick um, and sturdy, whereas the Chuck Taylor was just a single layer of canvas. And, um, you know, all in all, let's just be honest, results are what matter. And uh, the very first time that I used the shoe, when I was warming up, I was a little bit off balance, um, you know, as I was addressing the issue of being, <clears throat> you know, without my heel. I was... Uh, kind of tailoring myself back to the flat sole. And, um, but by the end, I ended up squatting a, a PR. Um, actually, according to what I did in the meet, it would have been a 10 kilo PR <clears throat> to depth. But in the gym, um, it was a 5 kilo PR, and the PR that it beat in the gym was actually a little bit high. So I saw immediate results um, in this shoe, and that's, that's really what matters in powerlifting is numbers. Numbers talk. Uh, and bullshit walks, as Louis Simmons would say. Um, something else that you'll notice along the lines of the bottom of the shoe, the bottom here is not as tall. You may not be able to tell the difference, but it's not as tall as the Chuck Taylor. And the insole is very, very thin. So right in here, I can almost feel my fingers touching. And for me, a guy who's pulled pretty much uh, barefoot or in, in slippers, that's important. And I think that's going to be a huge benefit to guys who are pulling sumo. You know, you're going to minimize that, that inch that you've been accustomed to in the Chuck Taylors. You're going to get a little bit lower to the ground. And as we know, every single millimeter counts in the deadlift. And as I was uh, doing the other day, <clears throat> I did a speed pull standing on a plate with 700 pounds. I mean, not to say that uh, 700 pounds is ever, fa is ever fast, but... I like the feel of being low. I like the feel of getting myself balled up and being able to generate as much speed as possible. And I've never been able to do that or to replicate that feel of being barefoot uh, in another shoe. So my hat's off to these guys. Um, this is not just some gimmick. This is not some um, marketing ploy to try to sell shoes. This is actually a shoe with a lot of thought and a lot of guts behind it. Um, the other thing that I've heard people talking about that I think is absolutely ridiculous, and I'm going to touch on it real briefly, is the fact that it says Reebok CrossFit, all right? Well, let's talk about, you know, they say, well, I'll never buy that shoe because it says CrossFit. Well, first of all, um, you're probably an idiot if you say that. Number two, what does CrossFit have that powerlifting doesn't have? Money, sponsorship, support. So if we can get CrossFit and these sponsors to recognize, hey, powerlifting is good for CrossFit, and a lot of CrossFitters start doing powerlifting, where do you think the sponsors will follow? Where do you think the revenue will follow? Where do you think you know, the marketability will follow? So if you're so shallow as to not buy a shoe because it says CrossFit, you can just delete me as a friend on Facebook. You can delete me. Um, you know, and just, well, just forget about me altogether because CrossFit is here to stay. It's proven itself to be a worthy sport. The athletes are tremendous. They do things that, um, are as equal. I don't even want to say equally as impressive. I mean, they're, they're pushing the body to the limit just as powerlifters are. So they deserve respect. And what this shoe can do is it can take a CrossFitter put them in a powerlifting friendly shoe and allow them to do the power lifts and allow them to not only train CrossFit, but train the power lifts and then have a competition shoe for both. So I think it's a win. I think it's a, a good thing all the way around. And like I said, <clears throat> I hesitated to make this video because I didn't want some 
asshole out there saying I only made it because I'm friends with Mark or Jesse or whatever, but the fact of the matter is what I'm telling you is the truth regardless of, of friendships. Um, I'm sold on them. I think they're going to be a huge, huge hit amongst the powerlifting community, especially if you're in Chuck Taylor's. Um, this shoe is so far beyond that. It's going to be an instant sell as soon as you try it on. And as far as the guys in the heel shoe, if you can find someone, and you don't want to take my word for it, if you can find someone once they start selling and you start getting them, try them out. I think they're they're worth your time. Um, I've even heard Mark talking about maybe having an insert put in to mimic the heel a little bit. Um, that was something that he, he'd said a while back. I don't know if that's even on the table anymore, but I do think there is a place for this shoe in your arsenal, whether it just be for the deadlift or um, if you decide to let it take over your squat shoes and I use it on the squat as well. So that's my two cents on the matter. I, I am not paid for this advertisement. The only thing that I got was a free pair of trial shoes um, to test and to give feedback on. And so many people have asked my feedback. Uh, I thought I would share it with you. And if you want to say that I'm, I'm saying this because I got a free pair of shoes, I got 27 t-shirts in there that I'll give you that I've never worn from companies I don't give a fuck about. So anyway... Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys the next time.